Using a planar pentagon representation for the cyclopentane ring, draw structure of formulas for the cis and trans isomers of the following. So first we have to figure out what cis and trans is, and cis is when we have two substituents on the same side. So for cis we will have same side, and for trans we will have substituents on opposite side. Here we have 1, 2 dimethyl cyclopentane, and we're asked to draw a planar pentagon, which I have done already. And if I number, let's say I number this way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2 dimethyl means there is a methyl group on carbon 1, and there is a methyl group on number 2. Let's say that we're trying to draw it cis. Cis means on the same side. So where would these two methyl groups be? Either we draw both of them up or both of them down. I'm going to draw both of them up like this. So this is my cis isomer of the 1,2-dimethyl cyclopentane. What would trans look like? Well, trans is an opposite size. So for example, if this methyl group was up, this methyl group would be down. So this would be my trans isomer. And now let's do part B. Part B is 1,3-dimethyl cyclopentane. So how would we do that? Let's say that, again, we can number our ring any way we want. For example, I'm going to number this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 1, 3, and let's draw cis-dimethyl cyclopentane. So cis means again on the same side so either both of them up or down i'm going to draw both of them up so on the carbon number one my ch3 group is up and on carbon number three my ch3 group is up as well so this is cis isomer of 1,3 dimethyl cyclopentane now let's draw trans which is the opposite one will be up and one methyl group will be down and this would be trans isomer of 1,3-dimethyl cyclopentane. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring, and I really hope that you found this video helpful.